Hello, how do you do? Welcome to the stream and welcome to American Truck Simulator. Yet another log truck <laughs> stream. I love them log trucks. Apparently, obviously. But of course. Uh, Wolfgang Tail Chase will be joining us shortly. Uh, we are currently in Thompson Falls, just outside of St. Regis at the rustic uh, sawmill where we left off last time I was driving with him so I wanted to show him St. Regis and that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to start up with uh, opening this little piece of road on his map that's not there it's like a hidden road just passing the, uh, the uh, railroad further on and with the uh, elevated so not elevated tracks sorry but the road is not elevated as you cross the tracks so you basically have to climb over the uh, the rails with the truck so hopefully no train is gonna come exactly when we are about to cross Yeah. Doot doot. It's the horn of the Mac. Apparently, I don't know. <laughs> this is the sound I get. It doesn't really matter which horns I pick. If I don't pick maybe the regular ones, of course. I think this uh, truck can have a little of its own personality. Even with the truck horns. I think it's uh, it's really growing on me this uh, Mac Superliner. So I decided it it's a 1977. That was the first year for these. Um, so for me that is a good year because my very first car I ever had was a 1977 was the Commodore 96. And it's 37, that's good for truck driving. However, I was wrong with my Peter 379. I called it up to be 1984, but that was actually 359, I think. So uh, 379 was starting to 1987. So I guess that's a 1987. Alright, I I don't know if he joined us. Yeah, he joined us, so he's probably talking with his uh, crew, but the viewers. He started uh, streaming on YouTube and on Twitch, so it's, it's parallel streaming. This is his uh, camera K100, a uh, new truck that he built pretty recently. After driving his Cascadia hey, for a very long time. Uh, come again. Come again, come again. I see that you are outside the area. I was going to check if, uh, if there's anything interesting to pick up. Yeah, from St. Regis. I thought because that's on the other side of the river, so that's uh, Matt VT Yard. So thought we would check it out and also open up this little piece of road that's not yet open on your map. All right, I will drive out and you can lead the way. Sure thing, buddy. Oh, now I know why it's so low. All right, here we go. Uh, where 
are you going? I went a little too far. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Are you available, Wolfgang? I'm right behind you. Yeah, I just didn't want to interrupt if you're talking to your viewers. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that the road is not elevated, so these tracks are pretty high up, so we need to climb over them. So just listen for the train and let me know if you hear something. <laughs> Yeah, I had to hurry up with that one. <laughs> Poor trailer. <laughs> it was bouncing up and down. Man, I freaked out. <laughs> I freaked out big time. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it would have been fun if uh, the, the barriers had gone down while your, tra while your trailer was on the track. Yeah, American Railroad Crossing's horror story of, t of the time. I mean, it's crazy. Well, at least it has barriers. Not all of them have. Right. Most of them just have like uh, flashing lights if they even have that. I never keep track on that, so I don't know. No one is writing in the chat just yet, anyway. How about you? None. It's fine. I'm gonna create a shorter of the railroad crossing for sure. <laughs> yeah, that might be cool. I might do the same, watching you like driving over there with the red lights flashing. 
Yeah, bouncing over like a little whatever. Bouncy bouncer. Shit. go to Matt VT with these kind of trailers it's just support for rustic so uh, this is kind of a narrow and uneven place we got cones on right side further on need to watch out for that like a big hole in the ground or in the road and then you have a, a bridge coming up and after the bridge it's a sudden upswing on the road so you would probably hit the bumper if you go too fast just so you know heads up like a normal, like a normal of these roads that you put me on that It's beautiful though, beautiful stretch of this road. Yeah, with, with the winter as well. All right, here comes the cones. Momentum and speed is kind of a thing here if you have load on. I mean, especially if you have load on. And it's if it's snowing, it might be an issue even if you're without a load, yeah. Yeah, I know I did it a couple of times, so I uh, usually rise up the suspension and not go over 30, and that usually does it. The funny thing, it's not the same going the other way, so when you come down, you can actually bounce pretty hard, and nothing will happen anyway, it's kind of cool. Yeah, maybe it's something with the rendering of the terrain. But I think it may it makes sense actually. Uh, we're not gonna turn into the forestry just yet. We're gonna pass it so you can check out the yard, maybe buy it if you feel like it. Then we have another plant just after the yard. Uh, big ugly plant. <laughs> yeah, there was a big bump uh, there as well when going up.
Yeah, it's a dog on the roof uh, over the, uh, the uh, what is it, the, uh, what do they call the balcony in the front? Porch, on the porch. Yeah, well, there was a dog on the side, side of as well. You drove like one meter past it. Yeah, yeah, they are everywhere here. <laughs> I think there are three of them or four even. Uh, you want to buy this or are you going to continue just? Not sure what she's doing, but no, let's just continue. All right, time for. Also, you can refuel here if. Uh, if you need it, I don't think I need it. Or I'm actually gonna refuel. I can take on a little. I'm almost full. I hope you can refuel without owning the place. Otherwise, it will be somewhere else, I guess. Yeah, I looked at the garage manager, but it wouldn't let me buy anything. I don't know. Uh, might be that you have to be here. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, garage purchase. It's not. It's it's where you. It's garage porch purchase. Not not the other one you were looking at. You can't buy any garages there. Gee, I can speak. Yeah, but it's blacked out. I can't. Uh, I can't buy. It says garage purchases, it doesn't click on it. That is weird. Okay, let's go then. Uh, how much fuel do we, do we got left? I can still fill up here. Uh, you can or cannot. Oh, that's good. Alright, let me check the loads. Let me check what we got. Alright. We 
We got Kalispell, Evanston, uh, Pueblo, Boys, Sandpoint, uh, Lodgy Lodge, actually. So we got to Lodgy Lodge. That's pretty cool. Uh, pine, too. I love pine. Check that one out later because that, that texture is beautiful. So what do you say? Uh, Lodgy Lodge? Yeah, take what you want. All right. hit but not this time I managed to evade the log that I always hit every freaking time I hit it there we go taking on the load why did you say that you uh, could take something Uh, excuse me? I don't have up to Lodgy Lodge. Of course not. You need to take it from the uh, uh, convoy cargo. Oh, you want me to copy yours? Okay, I have the stand point. I mean, it's fine if you want to do it like that, but logs is logs, so it's going to be the same anyway. So you do as you please. Just take which one ever you want. Although I wanted to show you Lodgy Lodge, but maybe you already seen it before. Yeah, you have, I think. Oh, what the fuck? Sorry about the um, sudden eyes <laughs> like disappearing on me. I apologize. This is kind of beautiful. Like, look at these trees. Looks so good. Typical. Typical pine. So let's see where he's gonna park. Because I don't know where he needs to pick it up. Sure thing, buddy. No problem. No pressure. I can hear him, so he's probably just took on the load. So he's maybe inside of that low boy sitting, and as soon as he leaves the area, he would show. It is what it is. And um, I guess if that is the fact, depending on which way he is. Kind of want him to uh, go ahead on this one. So I'm gonna back up anyway. Then it doesn't matter which way he's standing. Alright, I'm ready to go. Yeah, would it be okay for you to go first on this one? I have no clue where you're at though, so maybe you're standing inside of one of my trailers. I'm to your right, I'm on the other side of that uh, red tractor thing, trailer. Yeah, you will show as soon as you leave, I guess. Yeah, you were inside of the low boy. Because I'm driving out now. 
Yeah, you were inside of that low boy for me, so you appeared. So one big trade-off with this one is whenever you use the pusher, at least in snow, it's gonna really go straight forward. Like n I never had any truck doing that as much as this, and I had, you know, to deal a lot with the Kenworth 900 John Rudas. That one loves to go straight forward with the tri drive. Although this is not. A you really don't want to go very fast here. I do agree with you, you're totally fine. Um, yeah, and um, so this is normally not a tri drive, but since it was really not underpowered, but couldn't have much grip on the drives on these kind of conditions, so I had to change the. Um, changed the file to have drive on the pusher axle which is kind of crazy I believe I never heard of a pusher axle that you have drive on but um, up. so when I did that thanks a lot uh, when I did that I think you didn't want to know. Always good with a warning. I can be really all over the place in mind, so thank you. Uh, so it actually got worse when I did that. So it really goes straight forward now, but I usually drive with it up, and whenever I need it, I lower it. And the way the game is working, it's useful since you get a little oomph just when you put it down or when you raise it up for whatever reason and that might get you out of that sticky situation you're in if you can't move forward you might be able to s start moving slowly at least uh, one question sir uh, do you want to take that long road um, the hidden one that I took last time you were driving if so take the next one right if not take the left right left left right 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 yeah okay uh, if, if you want to uh, open up that road for yourself and maybe show your viewers then it's the right Stop on this one. My Morgan Freeman is gonna freak out about this, but it is what it is. <laughs> turn, do a U turn, do a U turn, do a U turn. Yeah, and I'm like, you do a U turn, smack. That's right, you're gonna follow this road all along through uh, the entire town of uh, Thompson Falls. 
uh, and at the end of it you're gonna find yourself a little fuel station on the left you take a left there and then we're gonna go straight into wilderness You're gonna do fine, just mind your trailer, the space and so on, otherwise it's no issue. Alright. So it's not it's not gonna be about traction this time, not so much anyway. More space. Exactly, and uh, punctuality on your uh, positioning basically. Well now screwed. Ah you'll be fine, just take it slow and easy and we'll get through it. It's it's fun. Famous long words. <laughs> Yeah, they say it would be fun, <laughs> right? They said it was fun, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay, yeah. We'll see how it goes. Alright, next one to the left. Let's see if I can help you. Hang on. Oh, it's okay. All right. Indeed. Let's hope that they uh, implement that in the future. Can you imagine like trying to uh, drive a truck through like half a meter of snow or something like that? I don't have to imagine. I've done it. Yeah, I'm driving a tram through uh, a couple of dozen meters of snow. Yeah, right. The uh, tram, uh, though, has rails, right? <laughs> yeah, but it's kind of nervous when you drive and you don't see those rails. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I get it. Uh, straightforward. Straightforward, okay. All right. When you're driving along and you know that there are rails somewhere, but uh, it's just completely white. That's kind of uh, scary, actually. All right. Make a good turn. Let's keep our enemies. I think. Who knows? Like, who knows? There might be some uh, ice in the rails, or there might be something underneath the snow that so you can derail. All right. Alright, we're gonna roll through uh, town now, so prepare for the left turn as you see the uh, little gas station on your left. You're gonna turn before the gas station. Alright, I see the gas station. Is it this one? Make a U turn. Oh, yeah. Make a U turn. So I'm gonna turn in here. That's affirmative, sir. Uh, now uh, we can uh, maybe for fast forward time if you want, or we can just do half of it now and half of it in daylight, whatever you feel like. 
the AB will be a little bit more fun to do it in daylight so you can actually see something. Yeah, so uh, go along on this road until you pass a house on your left side after the switchbacks and we can stop there on the roadside and uh, call it a day and fast forward. Alright, this uh, bridge doesn't look very stable for a truck like this. It's fine, I've been through it a million times. <laughs> Alright, so next one to the right. It seems to be the K100 a uh, little bit slippery, uh, just the type of the truck, I don't know. Yeah, it's a, it's a good thing I have a cab over because if I had a, uh, the one that you have, I would have hit the uh, side of the like uh, rock wall. Yeah, but this is not really slippery, so... Cozy, isn't it? It's kind of nice with the snowfall and everything. Yeah, that's, I, I like I like driving in the snow. So once again, it's your call. If you want to stop after this uh, little house, honk to him and say hi. Uh, then yeah, we can you know fast forward time, or if you want to keep going, just keep going. Yeah, no truck's gonna come past at this hour in this condition. No, no. It's just two idiots out here. Alright, right, sleep tight then. See you in the morning.
we're going to fast forward time to uh, let's say uh, seven yeah oh you're up good Rolling. Set the guy who's already rolling. Are you wiper still going? Not anymore. I just thought I should remind you because on your last stream, although you were very tired. They were going forever. <laughs> well, as long as they're not squeaking, I really don't care. Yeah, they should implement it so you get annoyed and shut them down, right? Or shut them off. It looks a little uh, peculiar. Alright, you got some rocks on your left, so mind that with the trailer wheels, you don't get punk, uh, like a flat tire. Yeah, you can get that now, right? I don't know, but I would think you could. Anyway, and I don't have to remind you of your right, right? Are we scared a bit? No. He says with shattering teeth. Oh boy, I can see where I was going. That camera was not too good. Yeah, line up, baby, line up. Hey there, Officer Vox, how are you doing? I'm using Track IR. Yeah, thanks, buddy. I appreciate you watching the stream. So this part is implemented into the game, the Montana DLC. You just have to find it. It's right um, at the end of Thompson Falls village or town. Or you can enter it on the other side from the freeway on the south of the mountain range. That was, that was a little bit itchy. Yeah. Yeah, tell me about it. driving while uh, looking uh, in front of my, uh, like I was looking at my truck, the front of my truck when I was doing it. totally with you on that uh, I think it's kind of strange that I would put this one in it's not a shortcut it's really nothing except for some weird experience but if they would put a forestry up here man that would be so cool yeah well it's uh, the shed it's an experience 
All right, check out that mine you're going to be rolling past, and you have a kind of spooky yard on your left, further on. Just uh, slow down a bit and take a peek. Yeah, they, they should put something uh, like uh, something that you can pick up uh, things from. Yeah, like old carcasses or uh, something Halloween related up here, right? Yeah, that would be cool. Oh man. That was really not the right angle for it. pushing it although it's good for this to get up on the uh, the bridge over there I kind of got stuck a couple of times trying to get up there but that was with a road train so look at this house kind of spooky I think we should. Just so that you can see me falling off the cliff. How could I see you fall off the cliff if, it, if it's dark? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just uh, like see me disappear <laughs> with my lights like going off to the side. Uh, take it easy, good buddy. Pushing it, man. I have a hard time to catch up. Hey, the GPS has uh, found us again. Yay, Morgan Freeman. So the resting spot on the other side of the freeway is pretty neat. You should check it out sometimes. All right. Well, we're back in civilization. Yeah. How does it feel? Uh, I really don't know. I kind of like driving on those kind of roads. I agree with you, man. It's so awesome. Uh, well, on to Lodgy Lodge. Uh, did you get Sandpoint or Lodgy Lodge? Uh, I took Lodgy Lodge. I took, uh, copied your load. All right, gotcha.
So I'm really happy with the final drive, the uh, diff ratio or whatever you want to call it on this one, because there was a ton of them to choose from, all from two point something to four point a lot, and I basically settled with three twenty five, I think. Where I still can have pretty low RPMs on the freeway, but still have plenty of power trying to climb mountains like Eagle Valley. I would call it Eagle Rock. Why are we doing this? I don't know. Why well, slow down then? Yeah, you never do that, but yeah, it's a game. Okay, we should try to treat this as reality now. Um, yeah, that that's what I like to do anyway, but that's just me. Okay, it's coming to a complete stop here. There's a car that for un some unknown reason has stopped in the middle of the road. Boy, I'm oh, sorry about that. Man, they are all over the place. Hey guys. Code LN. Yeah, Coeur d'Alene. However, that's uh, however I did pronounce. Uh, I would like to visit the closest uh, shop. Maybe we can take it at Lodgy Lodge. We have that shop in Sandpoint, right? Have you damaged your truck? I kind of collected damage all through this week, so it's time now. <laughs> Although it's not only damage, it's uh, it's wear as well. Let's see what we got. It's kind of cool that they like get put in that now. Yeah, it's more accurate and more punctual, if you will, like more specific. So I get 14% on the tractor, 1% on the trailer. I guess 1% on the trailer is only tie wear. Okay. It would be cool if, uh, if now that I don't ha have any other drivers in this profile, but it would be cool if you, like, uh, you have to repair the other trucks as well. Yeah, that would be costly, so it would be interesting. But it would be realistic. Yeah, that's why it would be interesting. I, like I always said, there should be a hardcore mode in this one, when nothing is so freaking easy. Just so you know, people who never drove a truck maybe can have an idea of what hell it is sometimes I agree because in this game it's, it's pretty easy not to fail you have to screw up pretty much if you want to fail this game yeah and so many other games right yeah there are games that are uh, really easy to screw up in. Like Pac-Man? Yeah, you just head straight for the monster and you screw up. For the ghost. You're free to turn right. It's uh, go on red. It was not. 
What, did you find a specific sign that was saying you can't turn right on red? No, but some invisible cop uh, decided that it wasn't. Ooh. Continue straight. I am pretty uh, clear that uh, whenever you turn the red light, there's always a cop in sight. Yeah, that is a good rule. All right, see you later, buddy. Continue straight. Yeah, I. Uh, if I had uh, started braking there, I would just slid into the intersection anyway. <laughs> yeah, I I got that. Oh shit! Sorry about that. I thought it was crashing because when you get that stutter, it might. But... I'm just rolling a little bit slower, waiting for you. Appreciate it, thanks. Um, uh, you just go now. Uh, the thing is, we get too far. Uh, the train. Cool, race the train. We get too far uh, away from each other. I'm trying. It kind of does that. So it would basically separate you. Well, it's an American freight train that's not that hard to race. Separate you from the rest of the traffic that he's spawning. So it's something along with that. That's why you get the stutter as you separate. And you might get a stutter as you merge to the same area, basically. I mean, it's pretty smooth anyway. I think it's a good solution. It's just like plan for building a, a new bridge and expanding the road to like a freeway, something like that. It almost looks like it, right? Yeah. Keep right. It's the same here. Yeah, the walking bridge on the right, that's the old bridge, yeah. It was probably cheaper to make a new one than renovate the old one and build it, you know, widen it and such. Yeah, but it's nice to have like a pedestrian bridge like that. I'm gonna continue straight forward here. Yeah, me what? I've already told you that I'm going to the same place as you are. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, you know what? I screwed up. Uh, I thought for a moment we were going to Sandpoint, and when we do, uh, Morgan Freeman tells you to, tells you to exit right here and go through whole you know downtown with the trucks and. I think it's easier to just continue and take a left by the gas station, coming the back way, so to speak. Why are we not going there right now? No, we're not, and I agree with the first. Man, I'm dropping my gears here. There we go.
The Mac horns are so hilarious. Wank, wank. <laughs> Yeah, so those who don't know, my uh, gear shifter is glitchy. The physical one I'm actually using, so it's not glitchy enough to open up and you know look for the. F I got some nice drive-by uh, short stack. Cool. Yeah, so uh, it's not glitchy enough to open it up and check for. I wouldn't find what's wrong with it, possibly because it's so, you know, random. But when it's definite and always or 90% of the time it's failing, I would open it up and look for the glitch. It's well used, and it was used when I bought it too. So this would be the second time I open it up to see what's wrong with it. I got a bad connection. I I can't read. I what? What did you say? Ha ha ha! Left and then turn left. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I constantly forgetting that actually. I'm going for it. You gotta check your speed. Said the guy was rumbling down the hillside. Uh, I don't remember that. Neither do I, just for you. <laughs> Yeah, it gives me time to get rid of my load, so... Or start at least. The fun thing is, when it's snow like this, you can't see the actual line. So I was just standing here, rolling forward a little bit, and uh, it's like, Hey, you drove, you drove against the red light. Like, what? Oh really? So the cops can see what you can. That's that's nice. Yeah, like it's snowy. There are no lines. I can't see the lines. <laughs> All right, I'm late. Of course, we were spending the night in the mountains. So again, just gonna get rid of this. I love these trailers. You really, I mean, for most times it makes sense of what you can haul in from where. So this is basically like a hub, not only a um, log yard, uh, lumber yard, uh, sawmill, so you can get stuff from here. But however, you never drive to a forestry from here, which you do with uh, another one. Uh, I think it's Brian Modmaker's uh, B log train. That one you can end up wherever, you know. <laughs> and that's big loads going up the hill to a forest tree and you would get stuck and stuff like that. It's just ridiculous. Uh, anyway, um, I'm thinking we would take on something else. Uh, can you drive forward a bit and leave that area? Yeah, sure. I was just thinking what to do next. Uh, I think we go down to Moy River and get something from there. What do you think? Of course you're not gonna fail.
Uh, yeah, you want the, the end of the trailer at the edge of those logs on your right. That's where you want to start. So if you're basically placing the rear end of your trailer just by the logs you see on your right side behind you, then it will be very easy to just maneuver in. Yeah, it's a learning curve for sure. He's making it hard on himself, but it's fine. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh! Oh! Yeah, push it! Push it! Push it! <laughs> Alright, body shop next, I guess. <laughs> Got it. I'm sure they don't. Everyone is new at some point, so... Well done, sir. One uh, trade-off on this one is though, you can't really look backwards. It's really hard to stick your head out. Now, this is the best I can get. So I can't really see the trailer until I turn. All right, I follow you. Uh, 10 4. I'm gonna swing by the shop here to uh, fix the truck a bit. Alright. Got the suspension on the trailer, some of the axles lifting. Yeah, these green areas here, they don't look very nice. Yeah, that's what I told you about last time. So all these uh, third-party areas doesn't really go well with frosty mods. They have their own brushes and textures, so that's why it looks like that, I think. Oh, I think I made something. Oh, yeah, right. 
I also have to replace a couple of lights because they are wrongly connected. Uh, I see I blinking to the right and then I have lights on the left side blinking. So I need to fix that as well. It's going to take a few minutes. All right, so repairing. All right. Uh, repair all. Uh, not, no, hang on. I don't want to repair all. I'm going to keep my tires though. Uh, so no, this is the drive line. Where is it? This is the tires. Okay, so I want to fix this one. Fix this. Fix that. And sure, fix the. I know these. I I don't think these are. I don't know if. Yeah, whatever. Like a tune-up. Uh, what do we have here? Five percent tire wear. Uh, I'm gonna leave these. Uh, maybe these. All right. Uh, confirm. It's really cool that you can pick out what you want to fix and what you don't want to fix. So yeah, we got uh, a few lights here that I misplaced. It's always like that when I find new lights to put out. So this one is rear left. And this one is probably right. Yeah, not rear light, but rear right. So it's supposed to be this, and this is supposed to be that. How about this one? Yeah, okay, well, no, I'm going to put rear light and rear light. And this is right, should be. No, this is just rear lights. This one should be right. <laughs> so this one is right blinker. This one is left blinker. These are just uh, regular uh, position lights and braking lights. And we have reverse lights here. So that's that's about it. I don't know if I placed anything here. I didn't. I wanted to though. So I'm just gonna put them there. Uh, these small ones, nothing big, nothing fancy, just cool markers. Just for the sake of it. All the brake lights would be beneficial here, but they are kind of small down here. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. Confirm. I think we're good. Confirm order. I'm going to test the lights here. We got the right blinkers, the left blinkers, the brake lights, and position lights. Barely noticeable. Yeah, I'm done. We can move out. Oh, cool. Do we have any cats in it? Actually, I do. Smile is uh, lying in the cat house. Or the cat tree. Aww. That was a glitch. So we're going to take a left after this right turn. I'm going to start braking. Ten four. Yeah, so this turn from this turn and forward it's gonna be Matt VT Yards, Modular, the log expansion pack basically. 
calls it part two for some reason. PT2, I think that's for part two. And it's all the way up to the, actually, I think across the Canadian border and then left, going along the border basically and coming back to where we just left off the, the logs just now. So we have another sawmill here. We got a forestry up further in to the, on the Canadian side. Uh, and now, right now, we're gonna go to Moy River. That's kind of a, you know, kind of an iffy way uh, way of getting out from there. Yeah, be sure to have your suspension all the way up, at least after we pass the uh, the uh, bridge. Uh, not this bridge, uh, the one that goes over the river when we're going to pass over ourselves. Man. Alright, I don't remember which buttons that are. That is. Alright, we're going to stop at the, the bridge there and you can go through it because you need it. How about this sunset though? That's beautiful. Whoa! I'm sliding. That I'm was a nice uh, slide there. Yeah, I just crapped my pants. Gotta change them. <laughs> yeah, good thing I got a place here too, with the goat in the garage. Yeah, drifting baby, right? Alright, I'm gonna stop right here and you can go through your keys for the suspension. I will take a short break and visit uh, the house. I will be right back. Uh, how's it going, man? Uh, sorry, how is it going, man? I forgot to push the button so he couldn't hear me. Or maybe he's away as well. The 
sounds or not. Yeah. And I would have quiet here, like almost no sounds at all. Maybe just a uh, creak. If there is any sound like that in the game, I would pick that one, but not so much about cars. You have a big road up ahead, though, like passing on the bridge. But you wouldn't hear much from that, I don't think. It's basically like you're in the middle of some, you know, indust industrial area or whatever. You have a road just nearby, but you don't. Alright, see if he's returning soon. I love the simplicity of this interiors. Looks like. Um, oh, I think you solved it. There you go. Yeah, I realized I didn't have enough buttons on the uh, ATS uh, page on my Stream Deck, so I created a catalog and put in uh, the commands for uh, suspension inside that catalog. Okay, uh, hopefully it wouldn't take you too long to access it, because sometimes you kind of need to do it fast, but it's fine. You can do it as a, you know, like, ahead of when you actually have to do it, so it's fine. Yeah, it's just two, two, two pushes of a button and I have it. That's awesome, man. Awesome to have a stream deck. Alright, I'm rolling out. Yeah, it's kind of narrow here, so mind your trailer. Stay as far as to the right as possible. Would be nice if I could see my trailer as well. If you turn on your... Um, uh, beacon, not the beacon, yeah, beacon. Turn on every freaking light you got, you might be able to see some of it. Should have added more light to my uh, trailer if that was possible. Yeah, you can have, I think. Uh, ever so slightly more lights on it, but he Pika really reduced a lot of options on the update. I don't know why they did that, but they reduced it a lot Yeah, I would like to have like lights along the side of it Yeah, that would be the good thing about Brian Modmaker's uh, B train log train because you can put lights on the bars you know the vertical bars And in, in your case, it would be the front rack and the back rack, basically. I actually, up with the suspension, I still hit the road with the under undercarriage. Yeah, I have my suspension all the way up, and I think I'm not doing it. I'm not sure, but... Yeah, it's about the... Um, what do you call it? The length between the wheel axles. I have so much, so it would do that. You have a shorter frame, so it's 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 an upside for it. The upside when you cap over. Yeah, that definitely is an upside.
uphill. This is a steep one. Man, the way we struggled on this uphill. Take it easy, you got a Bambi on your right, further up. Ah, nice, dinner. see what we got all right let's see what we got we got Eli we got Grand Cool we got Grand Cool we never been there not too much anyway Sandpoint Sandpoint Moy River Code Lane Pueblo nothing interesting uh, can we spend the night right here at the spot and forward time what do you think about that Any loads? Oh, that's why I want to spend the night because there was nothing interesting, really. All right. I mean, that's my personal imp opinion, so it was a few, but I'd rather wait. So, the next morning is, let's see, six o'clock. Six o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock. There we go. All right, so it's six in the morning right now, so it's gonna be bright in a half an hour. Uh, Cargo Market, let's see what we got. We got Eli Grant Cool, Thompson Falls, we've been there, Sandpoint, Sandpoint, Moore River, Cordula, oh man, same. Almost the same, so I think, uh, let's see, uh, hang on, give me a second. Lenar. I think we're gonna go to Sandpoint and I think we're gonna find way better loads from there because we can either go from their sawmill or their forestry so I think it would be more exciting and good content what do you say uh, you do what you, th what you think is best I appreciate it so I'm gonna pick the Sandpoint load and uh, yeah Pagoda to Sandpoint. Uh, yeah, and that goes to the rustic uh, sawmill. All right. Pagoda. You learn a lot about different trees here. This is so cool with these loads on Pinga Trailer Arctic uh, series. And the fun thing, he can take the same loads even though he has a different, whole different setup. So he loads his logs across the trailer, below the uh, the crane, and I load mine along the trailer. Supposedly they are longer than what he's gonna haul, so but you can still copy the load, so uh, that option is always welcome, you know. There we go. Taking the load now. Load is taken. An elite team has been assembled to guide the mission. Let's get started. Yeah, I'm about to take it soon as well. It freaking sounds like a rubber duck. Maybe that's the purpose of it. Good morning. <laughs> I I just realized uh, that took me 
like two days. <laughs> I think it took me two days to realize the joke about these horns, why they sound so funny. They actually sound like ducks. So Rubber Duck, the convoy movie, duh. Um, what would you prefer? Uh, you can drive first for a while and if I get the chance I can overtake. Alright, gotcha. I'm gonna go really slow down here. I don't want to start sliding. Yeah, I will uh, leave you uh, space. I don't want to slide into you. That sounds like a smart move. We're getting there, aren't we? One way or the other. Yeah, I mean, we are getting the, uh, the profession. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, you can only do so much in a simulator, right? Or with the mindset and knowledge and everything else. Yes, true. You're completely right. I agree with it. And competence or incompetence in my case. Man, don't put yourself down like that. You're doing fine. But putting myself down is uh, one of the fun things. Suspension up. I'm sorry, can we stop for a minute? Because I... Sorry, can we stop for a minute? I heard something at the door. Uh, hang on. Right, I'm back. All right. I have no clue what it was. I heard something, but everything seemed normal, so. Yeah, so hopefully your, um, what do you call the legs underneath the trailer that you got stuck because of, uh, li like last time, you have like two legs underneath, like this. When you put it on, when you're decoupling. 
So, yeah, hopefully you don't get stuck with that one. Yeah, why can't you uh, put those up? Shouldn't you be able to do that? Yeah, they do a little, but not all the way. If, uh, it's like basically the mount is sticking right down, so I don't know. Then you're just gonna have to hope that uh, you don't get... Whoa! You're flying! Yeah you, yeah, you need to manhandle this situation, so good luck with that. This, I've been stuck so many times here that it's crazy. So I'm going to stop just... Uh, I don't even dare to stop right now. I'm just using... Um, it lost the route. Hang on, I'm just gonna see how it goes for him. Oh! Hey, uh, come again? My GPS lost track of where I am. Oh good, I thought you were stuck. I was like, no! Yeah, I was, but then I put in the uh, lock the diff and uh, then I got out. Yeah, that's perfect. I know one thing though, I'm never taking another road train here. I mean, this is the most thing I would get here, like a B double. The road train, that is... oh man. Like, this was where I was for 45 minutes, trying to get out of a situation. Um, and lost a lot of views because of that. Yeah, well, uh... I guess you re need a really big engine if you're gonna make it up there with a road crane. No, it's not about the engine. It's the difference between how heavy the truck is and your load. So no truck in the game is heavy enough for that so you basically have to pick up a lot of speed and if you do that you bounce like crazy you saw me i mean you saw what happened to me and you get so much uh, like you hurt your truck bad <laughs> all right pick up speed pick up speed man so it's all about traction You know, I was in luck. I was in big luck here. Actually, we both were. You know why? Why? Because it just starts snowing, so the traction gets worse. Also, I just so happened, accidentally lowered my pusher, which, ha which has a drive on this. Without it, I don't think I would make it up. to know.
I was just, I was just, just waiting for you to pass. That's right, sir. Otherwise, it would reset as you pass uh, 30. Like, automatically. Love driving with you, man. Uh, can you repeat? I love driving with you. Wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle. Wiggling. In 400 meters. Are you tail wiggling? Just having some fun. Yeah, it looked like a lot of fun. Uh, you would have made it anyway, I think, because it just started as I reached the top of the mountain there, or the hill. One thing that would be cool if there were like different intensities of the snow, so you could get like this really complete whiteout, so you barely see anything at all. Yeah, I mean, in certain light conditions, it's exactly what's going on with this, so... But it would be cool, yeah, to have different amount of snow falling, yeah. There was one time when I was, uh, one winter when I was uh, working, and uh, it was snowing so much, that it was like these huge flakes falling down. So I was sitting like wagging back and forth inside the cab uh, to follow the windscreen wiper so I could see out. <laughs> I would have wanted to see that. Yeah, and uh, I don't know if you have been out to Nokkeby in uh, Nokkeby Bono, but like uh, at the stop at the end station there in Nokkeby, there's a switch and uh, a bit uh, further down the, the platform. And when I was at the switch, I couldn't see the platform because it was snowing so much. And that was like 20 meters or something like that. That's crazy, man. Yeah, 
that was a lot of snow that came that day. Keep right and then turn right. Can keep going, man. I mean, reason is you can turn right on red in the states if nothing else says so, like a sign or something. Police officer. I mean, if a police officer says you can't, you can't, right? I guess you are not watching my stream. I'm just driving. I got a viewer. Take the second exit. Yay! I'm climbing the curb. the V8. Why? What? Ah! Oh, you just gotta find the uh, square somewhere. Yeah, I just got what I deserved right now. need a square I don't know it's probably at the same point where you left off last time or closer to you or on the other side of the building so you have to go around check the map I was driving on the side of it current job actually we're gonna pick up something from I uh, yeah all right where do you want me Alright, we're continuing after this up to the forestry of uh, Sandpoint and see if we can get a cool load from there. 
I'm actually going to check it out right now to see if we get something from there. Uh, Sandpoint, and that's that. Kalispell, Price, Butte, Kennewick, Thompson Falls, we've been there. Colville, that's from here, actually. That one is from up there. Yeah, that's Colville. 57 minutes. We might not make it. One train, and that, that'll be it. Spokane, Missoula, Coos Bay. Oh, boy. That's, that's a long one. Coeur d'Alene, Coeur d'Alene, Kennewick. All right. Helco. I just have to go around the building. Gallup. Truckee. All right, so I got two options for you. Uh, you got your ears on? We got one to Elko, the straight south through of whole Idaho. Pretty cool trip. Uh, or we could go to uh, Coos Bay. That's on the west coast. So I would say it's a longer one. And uh, the first one is already long. So uh, yeah, pick your shoes. Yeah, all right. Uh, let's see. Hang on. It's mainly actually freeways on that one, so it's not going to be any big uh, excitement about cool rules or something. Uh, I would actually want it to go to Elko rather, but you can check it out yourself. Elko. All right. And that is. I would say it's equally long, actually, because it's not straight. <laughs> so, <laughs> Elko, Nevada. Sadly, nothing to Bellingham. That's kind of sad. So, Coos Bay is actually shorter. I see that now. Twenty-five hours to pick this one up. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything to Elko, but I have to Coos Bay. Yeah, but you can pick Milo, right? It's Poplar. Truckee, Gallup, uh, Coeur d'Alene. Um, yeah, to do that. It's not like there's a, like a big difference with, between timber and timber. Yeah, exactly. And we still get like different ones because you get the shorter logs that slow the cross the trailer, and I get little longer logs uh, along the trailer. So it's kind of cool that they doesn't match entirely, right? They don't. Okay, match. I'm gonna. Pick, I'm gonna... It's, it's not picking up here, it's somewhere up front. Yeah, it's up at the 4th tree on the other side of the tracks. Alright, I follow you. 10 4. No trains are coming.
And hope that it doesn't come in a train now on this other track you drove through over. No, oh, I know I fit with this one. Oh. I yeah, I, I think I'm gonna wait on the, the side of the track. Yeah, you're good. I I knew I was fi I f can fit with this one, not with the road train though. Just having fun with it. Hey Jackson, how are you doing? Yeah, I almost ended up uh, in the uh, up in the into the terrain. Yeah, I overstepped my uh, fun factor, so hang on. I cannot get any traction, that's what's going on. Have you put in the diff? And yeah. Oh, I, I did all of it, so don't don't you worry about that. Why are you moving now? Yeah, I'm working on it. I'm working on finding the sweet spot. Good for you. We have two different trailers, that's what's going on. Does your trailer weigh that much more than mine? Yeah, I got uh, one axle more and I hold uh, half, of, half a trailer more than you got. 
Maybe I should try that one just for fun. You should. On the other hand, then I might get stuck everywhere. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, we have two different trucks. You might have some advantage in some situation, and I have some in others, right? Nevertheless, I got up. Oh man, that was a little iffy. Uh, I'll go. Congratulations. Thank you, buddy. Uh, I said hello, uh, Jackson. I don't know if you heard me earlier. I said it, but it was in the middle of a sentence or whatever happened. Remember happening. to put the handbrake in so, uh, so I don't slide down. It's like hard to sit and push on the brakes. Yeah, good idea. <coughs> I always up my suspension here so I can get over the logs if I'm too close. Sometimes you actually can nail it so you would not hit it. Hit the logs laying around here. But the big one in front of us, my special to hit that one. It doesn't help if you have up to your suspension, you get hit in anyway. So how are you doing, Jackson? Are you having a wonderful Saturday, I hope? Welcome back. Glad to have you. Have you picked up your load? <laughs> you are on me, aren't you? Yes, I'm picking it now. The American people are counting. <laughs> Have you picked up your out? I'm on it, I'm on it. All right, sir, so whenever you're ready, um, we're good to go. Maybe I will roll after you on this one uh, for a little bit at least. Yeah, sure, I'm fine with that. That was my plan to actually. To go home to my mom? <laughs> yeah, didn't you know? <laughs> to end the stream, dummy. <laughs> I just want to take a quick walk around the truck. Maybe you should do the same. Check out all the details and talk about it a little bit before we go downhill. Yeah. I can try. I don't know much about the details to talk about. Yeah, just check it out. Check out the quality of the stuff. But uh, I'm using the zero key so I can just walk around. Just scroll down with your mouse if it's going too fast and go uh, walk with your key on the keypad. Basically check that your load is secured and so on, right? It's always secured, of course, but it's nice to see these chains and locks and... Man, this is so good. Yeah, I'm doing it now. I wonder there's actually part of wire there, so it's not only a chain. It's wire as well. Or line, or wire. Pretty cool. Sorry about the jerky movements. It's not easy with the super sensitive sideway and upward motion with the 
uh, mouse. It's not made for it. They definitely should make you able to get out of your truck and walk around like a normal human being, right? That would be really cool. Alright, let's get back into it. And let's turn off the vipers too. Alright, I'm good to go anyway. smart use your resources right exactly uh, yeah we went through all the settings for the traction and everything right like that was yesterday or the day before Yeah, I think we did, but I just find you real nimble everywhere and easy to not lose grip and such. So I'm kind of uh, jealous. So I think uh, maybe you have way better settings. I don't know. No, I have the same setting as you have. Yeah, that's what I remember as well. So. Macintosh over and out. Unless it's very slippery, then this truck is horrible. Alco Nevada. Jackson, uh, you're not coming too late, and you can always rewatch, right? So I was driving on a road, uh, 3,000 meters above sea level, and that's cool. Yeah, I didn't know what the signs meant, so when I when I came to the hotel, I asked, and I like, I seen all these signs along the road with like these numbers on. What are what are those? Uh, the one in the reception, like. Yeah, that's the altitude in feet. I like. Oh. <laughs> uh, you want?
going to go through town or are you going to take left? Oh, that's right. We can take a left turn. That's better. Yeah, sorry for interrupting. Keep keep talking. No, I will go. Must have been an experience. Yeah, Grand Canyon was amazing. I was just uh, like uh, I, came, I came there in the like the evening, like around three o'clock something like that I think, and I checked into the hotel and I walked, walked around Grand Canyon until like seven or eight something like that. But it was getting like too dark so you couldn't see anything. Then I went to sleep and then I continued on my journey after that. I should have stayed one more night to just Take the first exit. look at Grand Canyon. Yeah, it always feels like that, doesn't it? When you're at, you know, somewhere where you like to be and time just flies by too fast. Time always flies by too fast when you're having fun. I guess it does. Then I must have had my funniest or funnest COVID uh, flu uh, 2022 of summer in San Diego, I guess, because that went by really fast. <laughs> Even when you were sick? In 400 meters, turn right. Yeah, I was sick for almost a week, at turn least right. five days, I think, at the worst. And it feels like one or two, something like that, in the memory bank. I guess the uh, time when you were sick was uh, went for much slower than the time we worked. Yeah, maybe uh, I, I didn't feel like it anyway. Um, how's your fuel state, by the way? I'm uh, half a tank. But so uh, I can take the next uh, gas station and fill up. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm one uh, one third of a tank for me. Ten four. Slightly over, but whatever. Yeah, but you're you're in the right you are on the right path, so no problem. I thought you would figure it out. I figure it out one way or not or another. Absolutely. Hopefully before I crash. <laughs> right. There was uh, not the latest uh, stream I did with the flight simulator, but the stream before that. I think it was before that. And I had really problem landing on an airport. It's like, I don't know why it was so hard. And it was pretty hard winds from the side, and I just didn't manage to land. So I was like, going around and going around and going around. And then on my third try, I was like, yeah, now it's perfect. And I was like, 
It's always exciting to see what you come up with when you fly. Yeah, I'm gonna see. There must be some uh, like uh, button for changing that, like a key keybind for changing that. Uh, I should be able to like put it on my uh, on the stream deck so I can just change it there. May I ask your reasons for uh, going slow? Sorry. I'm uh, going. Yeah, good. Uh, your beacons are on, by the way. Oh, I was turning them off. Yeah, no problem. Just trying to help you out, buddy. To light up you again. Well, they're still on on mine. I still see you blinking there. I think you're fine now. Okay. I think you're gonna get a red light here unless you ignore it. <laughs> what red lights? I don't know what you're talking about. Stopping this time at least. Yeah, I it it like changed right in front of me, so I had like no chance of stopping. I would have like slipped right into the intersection if I tried. Yeah. I got a hopper truck in front of me, grain truck. And those are so freaking slow for some reason, I don't know why, but. He sees you and thought, I am gonna hold him up. Uh, no, but if you uh, look for them, they often go very slow on the freeway, like extra slow and such. Always hoppers, I don't know why. Is that like a thing or what? I don't know, maybe they're afraid to drop something on the load. Yeah, I've been driving grain trucks, if it's covered there's no issue. Uh, 
I'm making a big mistake. I'm making a big mistake. Here we go. Ha ha ha! Yeah, I did a stupid move. A really stupid one. Haven't been this stupid for a long while, so I thought it was time to do something really stupid. So what did you do? I will tell you later. Did you crash? No. Oh. But I am kind of stuck in between an AI that, of course, not going to help me out since I've been so stupid. I'll let you know, hang on. But you might have to find somewhere to wake me up. Okay, I will see. There really aren't any much here, but I'll see if I can stop alongside the road somewhere. So it's a uh, hopper double, so it would take more effort. But I will let you know what, what I'm about to do here. All right, uh, when you come, the uh, like a tight corner, there's a red building. I'm standing uh, uh, after that red building on the side of the road. that car out of the way that's for sure can't worry about all of them because he's good to go but he doesn't so it is what it is I'm freaking go man wah, wah. he's like lame totally paralyzed wanna have some help you need some help with that Buddy, I know I fucked up, but you don't have to make it worse, do you? Yeah. All right. Already inside of the railing, so doesn't matter really what I do from here. This is crazy, I know. Oh, oh here we go. All right, I'm on my way.
I think you can roll now. Ready for the story time. Are you going to tell a story? Yeah, about my stupidity. I'm all ears. So yeah, as we got out on the straight, uh, just over the highway, the freeway, I took the liberty and decision of trying to overtake this guy and then he would start to blink left just because he wouldn't turn to Dilla, uh, Coeur d'Alene and uh, yeah I just turned with him basically for a while so I wouldn't hit him but I could not stop so I was in a left turn stuck with him on my right side and even though he was free after a while he wouldn't continue going so he would just stand there like a paralyzed and that's why it took so long of time but yeah stubbornness nobody wants to move yeah but i just lost my patience there I can understand that, but uh, on the other hand, it's just some computer code and not real drivers. So you can't really go out and yell at it, even if you would like to. Yeah, but in this case, he would have been the one coming out and yell on me because I was the stupid one, right? Yeah, that's great, so he should have yelled at you. <laughs> that would be fun if they could like come out and start <laughs> arguing with you. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't know about my axle if it's down or not. It's up, okay. Yeah, it was a long time ago. It was a long time ago since I did something that stupid. Well, uh, you gotta do it sometime. Yeah, I call it a short circuit, if you will. Right, and the thing is, it was a stupid move whether he was turning or not, because either way, I can, you know, predict what, if there's going to be on any oncoming traffic or anything. I was just taking my chances, basically. Definitely not. All right, let's move on. No, I'm gonna keep mocking you for this. I'm just kidding. Yeah, my ego is hurt. <laughs> So don't forget about the next fuel stop. Yeah, I know. I'm uh, waiting for the uh, next fuel station whenever that comes. I 
like 10 4. I don't know. I don't know yet. Oh wait, I I took a wrong turn. I thought this was where I was supposed to go in, but it wasn't. I discovered a road. A hidden road. Is it like a hidden road? Yeah. I thought this was where I was supposed to turn in, but it wasn't. <laughs> No, keep go keep going man. Keep going man. We need to find this road. Uh don't care about the weight. We'll see where this one goes. <laughs> I like I thought I was gonna go in here because it was like uh, so close to the exit for the uh weight station. Yeah, I would never figure this one is actually a hidden road. Yeah, I wonder where it goes. It looks like it's going down to these companies down uh, down the hill. Yeah, completely the wrong direction ah, we go. Darn it. I'm really getting out of shape here. This is crazy. Doing so many things at the same time. I can't even handle it. Well, at least we, we discovered a hidden road, so that's fun. Hey, there's actually a car coming on it as well. Thanks for the heads up. I did my part earlier hitting the guardrail. Yeah, this is the downside of driving first. <laughs> yeah, let me know if you want me to go first. It's fine, I can do that. Backs never shortcut, but yeah, I hear you. And I did discover Lewiston in the process.
got a fuel station coming up on the right, so that's perfect. Yeah, I see it. Also, I kind of need to stretch my legs here, so a couple of minutes maybe. I hear you. All right, give you me a couple of minutes. I'll just stretch my legs and then we can go, all right? Yeah, I'm going to do the same. See you in a bit.
everyone bites the dust. Everyone bites the dust. Are you good to go? Just finishing up my banana. Then I'm good to go. Yeah, we can drive if we want. Yeah, I have um, maybe an hour left at maximum. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Find the uh, wait station on your left after you turn right, so we might just put on the left lane all together. All together. 10 4. Uh, I can bypass it. How about you? Yeah, same here, buddy. Just keep going. I came up to it and like, I haven't gotten an answer, I'm gonna turn in. But then just, just as I was like turning in, you said uh, that you can keep going and I like swung the truck out from the road again. That's conven convenient. I missed like one of those poles by uh, a couple of meters. Funny, I'm making that today. <laughs> well, we have the same thought then. So we're going from Sandpoint, Idaho, down to uh, Elko, Nevada. It's kind of a long drive. And this is where we are right now. like in real world, right? Yeah, whoa, there's a tree here out in over, over the road. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, that's one. Misplaced tree. They need to cut 
these uh, pine trees here, they're like go, go uh, over the side, over into the road. Ah, that was crazy. There's another one. So you just let me know whenever you want me to uh, go ahead of you. Just let me know. Alright. Slow down, and uh, if there's free, you can go off the east corner to Ingrainsville where we pass. Yeah, there's a van between us, so uh, maybe let him pass if you have the opportunity. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna pass me on uh, this kind of road, but you never know. Yeah, we'll take the chance when we get to it. Just turned off now, so we're good. All right, I will slow down a little bit. There are no, no there are no cars coming. Uh, you're a little bit far, too far behind me. Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> I will try. Floor it. Nice one. No, that I didn't do. There we go. Construction on the right and tight corners coming up. Red light, red light. I guess no one's gonna be driving now, so I better go. Follow me on this. Well, what happened? Why didn't he go? Because I had a red light.
Yeah, but uh, all right. I still do. I was running the red light, but I went a little bit too far. So I actually went out a little bit to the oncoming traffic. That's probably why he didn't go. I don't know. Okay, I uh, <laughs> I slid past you on the on the uh, on your on your right. I like to stop. Yeah, I saw that. I wonder what happens if I uh, if you put in the handbrake when you're sliding like that. You want me to try? Not right now. We'd be behind you, but. Oh. <laughs> Are there anything coming? <laughs> now. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Okay, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get my things together here. I guess I'm getting a little tired and when I do I I do stupid crap, you know. Yeah, same with me. that good one all right it is what it is no that was not it so uh, it, it's kind of glitching out on that specific spot of uh, position on the gear lever and I think it kind of goes down a range or something like that. I don't know, but it's... That's the one, and then I have some issue with the reverse. It comes out of reverse when I put my hand on the sh uh, gear uh, lever. What you're supposed to do most of the time is actually downshifting and use the jake brake. I almost never touch the brake. So now I did it. It was pretty smooth, wasn't it? Yeah, I should start to trying to learn how to drive with the manual. And yeah, the basics are the downshifting. So you go one step or one half a step down, but you don't have you have like uh, do you have automatic or like step steptronic whatever the name is I have 
have the uh, real automatic. Yeah, then you're stuck using the Jake brake basically, all thing you can do. And that would break you down to the next, like, uh, next gear. Yeah, I have an idea of how I'm gonna, how, how, how I'm gonna fix with the uh, gearbox. Now that I have the screen deck, I can put uh, reverse on the screen deck because it barely uses it. And um, then I'm gonna like uh, have it. So when I push this, like you know, a racing gearbox, when I push it forward, I shift up. When I push it down, I shift down. Okay. <coughs> hey, I got a speeding violation. Yeah, sorry, it was probably me. Uh, keep out to the left. Continue straight. I'm thinking something here because the configuration of an 18-speed Eden Fuller you could actually use the reverse on your shifter however what you will have to do is put in one button for the range and one button for the split and on the, um, uh, the, the stream deck maybe that works you, you should find it because then you would not have to have that knob. That knob that I have, that's the only reason why I can shift uh, like 18 speed with the uh, range and the split. So the split basically half, cut, cut every uh, gear in half, so you get half steps and the range is basically from one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you pull out the range and then you start over uh, basically the same. I got two switches so if you basically use two toggle buttons so you uh, assign them as toggle buttons one toggle for split and one toggle for range and you will have that instead of the knob that I have yeah I can do that cool Road construction on the right, on the left. We got a red light, red light. Hey, I got a green light. <laughs> oh, well, F you. <laughs> That was freaking hilarious, man. <laughs> you were just standing there in the red light, and like seeing me pass. <laughs> yeah, it looked something like, "Why are you freaking standing still, man? Drive." <laughs> Yeah, I could tell it was from your movements. Yeah, I think I need to repair my truck a little. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, but that bridge is kind of a problem e e either way, even if it's not in snow. It's so hard, like it's so uh, tight or sharp corner. So you would actually end up in the wrong lane anyway, most of the time, if you're not coming slow enough. Yeah, with uh, this kind of weather, it doesn't help. Yeah, most definitely not. Too freaking close. Maybe just start stepping on a little, a little bit so we can make it there before I have to go. Yeah, don't overdo it. You don't want to end up in the river, would you? It's always nice to take a ball. Yeah, that's always a good way to look at it. You're so positive, man. Are you farting rainbows? Shite. Oh, I got that pole in. Yeah, same here, same here. I mean, we don't have to rush it, man. We go as far as possible, and if you have to go, you have to go, right? Behind me, because I need to back up. How much? 112,000. Uh, 128,000. Okay. This, this truck you can't like, decide if it's gonna go or not. Yeah, you should you should wait, sir. Now you can go. Yeah, that's typical AI behavior. You never know. They are unpredictable. Yeah, so many times that happened to me, they stop before an intersection to let you out. And while you get moving, he gets moving as well. And then you do that for a while. Start moving, stopping, start moving, stopping. Like ridiculous. felt that. I was like sliding over into the other lane. Yeah, I did too. Right. And then continue straight. Continue straight. I think it gets more slippery when you get the snow. Okay, red light.
Yeah, you're going to be more efficient of braking when you are able to downshift, actually. You're going to use the jake brake and the downshift at once. Also, a little bit of braking would help you to stop. So that's going to be awesome if you can fix the f thing with the uh, stream deck. Continue yeah, spread. I think I'm going to need it. <laughs> yeah, by now it's obvious. There are no one behind me wanting to turn left, at least. Yeah, at least that. <coughs> are you the one behind me? Oh, yeah, you are. Yeah, that's me. Little old me. Little old Mac. Yeah, of course I get a red light violation, because I was in the left lane. Of course. When I had the green arrow, I should have driven, just driven straight. You do what now? To pump the brakes, like you have, like, uh, uh, this, uh, ABS. If you don't pump it, then you. so you don't uh, lock the wheel. Yeah, the human ABS, I get it. Yeah, sort of worked. You know, that's how. We used to drive back in the day, right? Before, uh, you know, ABS was around. <laughs> uh, you didn't do that, of course. You were a good kid. I did, I did that. I um, drove my father's car. It didn't have ABS. Yeah, there you go. Wipers off. Well, you are lucky then. For me, it's still snowing like crazy. Oh. I think my snowfall is a little bit behind yours, for some reason. Yeah, you can give it to me. I like it when it snows. You can have it. Helicopter.
Yeah, we do. <coughs> Just for a little while, though, we're gonna exit pretty soon. Come again. You gotta enjoy the mo mo moment of speed when you got it. Yeah, it is quite nice once in a while. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Sir. Continue straight. Quack, quack, quack. Not here. Oh man. I run the red light. I ran the red light. That's how it's done. There's a car standing behind me, like flashing its light at the lights at me. Yeah, and this uh, traffic signal seems to be broken. Are you having a green light? 
Yeah, to the left. Yeah, you were supposed to go to the left, weren't you? <coughs> Sorry about that. close. Did you almost uh, hit the side of the road there? I kind of ended up doing that maneuver because I didn't want to slip so I don't know how far away I was from actually slipping but I let it go as far as possible out to the right. Really nice lighting, I must say. It looks amazing. Yeah, I can, I can actually tell the difference that they've like upgraded, upgraded it. Yeah, they did a great job with the skybox. Although we uh, are missing a few, since we have um, <clears throat> Frosty activated. I think half of them skyboxes are no, no longer with us until we remove it. Oh, okay. That's one of the things that I like amazed by when I when I fly flight simulator. 
how realistic like the clouds and everything look. Yeah, that's wonderful. Clouds are beautiful. for flowers uh, I was just doing an exterior shot so I couldn't really know where I was going I don't know why you have such a problem with that I have no problem at all keeping straight when I'm doing external shots all right try this then you watch from front and back and then you zoom in your truck and try to stay on the pattern not number eight it's uh, hang on it's number two on the key on the keyboard and then you use your mouse to swing around zoom in and look from the forward and back that's how I do it sometimes you know to catch a glimpse of you okay I understand what you mean well I'm not gonna try it now You know when we went went over that uh, really that uh, improvised bridge. That's what I was that, that is what I was doing that. Right. It's like I positioned the camera in front of the truck so I could see my front wheels and, and I was like driving towards me. Got something on the roadside to the right. Uh, just some markers. There's a lot of ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, in 
So you're having fun then? More of... Oh crap, I'm gonna crash. Alright, it's a mix between horror and uh, joy, I guess? Yeah, 90% horror, 10% joy. <laughs> okay. Yes, sir. Uh, you do know that you don't have any ra rear lights on your truck. Yes, I do. There must be something wrong with it. I'm watching it right now. I have lights all over the truck. Yeah, I just see this black thing. Now we also your brake lights, but you don't have any <coughs> rear lights. It uh, might be the uh, cloud of uh, snow that, you know, it's behind the truck, maybe? Yeah, I'm gonna see when I get a little, once I get a little closer, see if I can see them or not. Maybe when you stand still. I see your brake lights. Yeah, I think you're too far off to see my lights. That's something within the game. So if you come closer, you will see them. Because right now I don't see you at all. You're outside my field of vision. Now I see your brake lights. Straight in. Wow, straight in, straight in. All right, man, it's been wonderful driving with you. I had fun. No, no, I can, I can move out. Oh, it was so fast. You just wanted to do that, right? Yeah. Okay. Nice driving with you, and uh, have a nice evening. Yeah, you too. Bon appetit. Bye, bye. And everybody, thank you for watching the stream. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. And hope to see you on the next one. Have a good one.